Hello, welcome back at Histocam, the museum of old cameras with a story. Let's talk uh, today about the Whittaker Micro 16. Lately I uh, read on uh, Facebook uh, that there was some confusion about uh, what the camera was doing um, and there was a little antenna on top of it. Well, um, let me explain how the camera works and all will be clear uh, after you have seen this video. So, the Whittaker Micro 16 is the size of a small uh, packet of cigarettes. You have them in different colors. Um, but some, some people say it is a spy camera. It's not really a spy camera. Uh, yes, you can hide it in a in a packet of uh, cigarettes, but uh, you have to cut uh, the packet a lot of holes in it um, to make it operational from inside the packet. So it's not really really handy. But let me explain. So I have one here, a blue one. You see, it is a pretty heavy one. Um, it's all all metal, all iron. Now, let me explain about that little thing, first of all, uh, the so-called antenna. When you push it, you can, you can slice it open. Now, it seems like it is an antenna, but it is the film transport level. Let me show you. I will open it up. You see here, I will zoom a little bit closer, like that. You see here the numbers of which you can see on which exposure you are. Those two are the film cassettes, one to start, one to go to. Now, as you see here, when I push this one, the so-called antenna, you are moving the film from right to left. You see here a little little handle that is uh, taking the film with it and at the same time another little handle is just counting plus one on the counter. Now you see the antenna stays inside. Why is that? Well over here in here there is a little fall contact. That will say when I turn the camera that way and when I push it, it comes open. You see here now it's number six. But when I push the so called antenna, it changes to seven. It's back inside. When you push it now, it doesn't come out because of the little fall contact inside this. When I turn it, you can open it. When you push it, the film is transporting one and it comes back. Every time you push, it will transport the film and it comes back. When you turn it, it transports the film and it stays in. Now, let me see what else we have here. Here you have the viewfinder in which you look and this is the other side of the viewfinder. Then this is the lens and you have three settings of diaphragm. Like you see, smaller and smallest. Now where is the shutter? Very simple, it's over here. It's a little bit inside the camera. Because when you do that, you take a picture. But when you do that again, you take a picture on top of the other picture. So it's a little bit a tricky camera because you have to be careful on two things. One, if you want to take your, your last photo, you have to push the transport level when it's upside down to keep it closed. But now, because now we have transported the film and he stays inside. So how do we use it? You open it up, you make your picture. 
to transport, you make a picture. When you finish, you turn it upside down, you push, and you can put it away. So, quite easy, if you know it. Let's take another look inside. So, those are the two cassettes with film. You can take them out, of course. They are metal, metal cassettes, 16 millimeter. That's why it's the name Micro 16. So, one that ha has a film, one where the film is going to. So, let's close it up. Oh, it's not right. So, so that's how Whitaker Micro 16 really works. And there's not really an antenna on top of it to give signals to, to UFOs or that sort kind of things. It's just the film advanced level. Thank you for watching Histocam.com. Have a nice day and hope to see you back soon. Bye.